Some cars will show you TPMS light, but they will not tell you which wheel is low on air, even though it has four TPMS sensors, one for each disc. But there is simple trick we can do, and you will not only see which wheel is low on air, once you will gather TPMS light, you will also see exact value. So in case you are driving at highway, and you get your TPMS light, you don't have to stop, you will just use your smartphone and see exact tire pressure value. And if the tire is just a little bit low on air, it's not a big deal and you can feel the air once you are at gas station. Or in other case, if you got flat tire, you will see that tire pressure is really low and you have to stop immediately to prevent damage to your wheel. And yes, I know experienced drivers can feel this, especially at highway speed. If you have flat tire, you definitely will feel it on your steering wheel. But still, this is very useful. So how we do this? First, you will need ELM327 adapters. Cheap adapters work fine, doesn't matter which one. If you want to get this V-gate, I will link it in the description. Put it in your OBD part. Go to your app store and find car scanner ELM OBD2. This is car scanner app. First, you need to go to settings. Connection profile. Make sure you will select your car. I have Toyota Corolla. Maybe it will not have all cars, but at least select your brand and some model that is closest to yours. For me, this would be this Corolla Hybrid 2020. I have 2022, but this is very close. Okay. Okay, once we are connected, we want to make sure that we will be able to read tire pressure monitoring data. Go to settings, sensors. On this right menu, choose profile active now in search bar type tire pressure and for this profile we currently can see only one tire but we can add additional tires click the settings go to inactive sensors find the tire pressure data and careful because you have set one and you have set two so if you are using two sets you need to select correct set that is currently on your car i have set one so I will activate the rest of the wheels, 2, 3 and 4. Now I can go to dashboard, settings, add page, 4 values, enter tire pressure. We can do gauge for all of them. Now press OK. OK, and now we just have to find out which number is for which wheel. And for that we will be using the Hichika Tire Inflator. Sponsor of this video, I have been using this for past month. Very easy to use and carry around since it comes with battery. So you can easily inflate your tires without having to deal with wiring. And then it also comes with two modes. You got this small high pressure hose and then also bigger low pressure hose. So not only you can inflate your car tires, but with these two inflating hoses and bunch of extensions, you can inflate anything from tires to air mattresses. So let me suck some of air out of the tire and we will see which value is changing. Okay, now I inflated my tires back and I found out that the driver's wheel is number one, the passenger front wheel is number two, passenger rear wheel is number three and the driver's side rear wheel is number four. So let me adjust this page a little bit. I want to have it, if I have my phone like this, it will be same like my wheels. So number one is my front left wheel, this is okay. Number two is also okay, this is front right wheel and we have to switch those two. So this will be number three. Okay. And this one should be number four. Okay, now I have corrected page and I can disconnect from up. I can go back, I can disconnect. This OBD adapter actually comes with sleep function. So I always leave it in car. I don't need to take it out, it will not drain my battery. I always have it plugged in. And then once I will get my TPMS light, I will just open my car scanner up, hit connect. Open my dashboard. 
and just like that I got my tire pressure monitoring system and I put them exactly like my wheels. So this app is free and ELM adapter and my Hitchi Qatar inflator I will link in description if you want to get them.